Hey everyone, it's just C. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Enrique are going to a court trial since the investigation is now complete and the date has finally arrived where we must go to trial. Unfortunately, our house was completely destroyed by Veronica, who hired her own boyfriend and her friends to destroy all the floors in the house. So this has been brought to our attention of the legal system. I suggest you watch the video in the right hand corner so you can understand the roleplay before you watch this one. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So after a whole month of searching for a lawyer, we finally found one that was a part of our current budget. The lawyer is from Hallwood Law Firm, and they have really good affordable prices for their clients and services. Right now, me and Enrique are currently getting ready at the moment. Julia, aka Enrique's mom, took the time to make clothes for us. This was made by the fresh wool from the farm. We deeply appreciate it since we didn't have any other clothes. I'm also making sure we have all of our legal documents ready and organized, so if the judge asks for them, we can make sure we have them prepared. The kids have to come since they are witnesses of this matter. Hopefully, they'll be well behaved during it. Anyway, I'm going to check on Enrique to see if he's ready. Enrique? Enrique? Are you done in here? Our trial is in two hours, and it's an hour drive to get there. Yo sé, necesito un mundo, por favor. Tal vez cinco. I just need a minute to get ready, and also clean my head. Alright, I'll go ahead and check on Iris and the kids. everyone uh how did you guys sleep it was okay i'm sorry it wasn't the same like our old house but it'll do glad to hear that iris now how did you two sleep nyla and quentin was it okay well unlike you and dad that got a good sleep quentin kept snoring mom i did not did too did not did too did not! Okay, both of you stop. I'm already stressed, so don't make me even more stressed. Sorry, Mom. Buenos dias, Madre. ¿Cómo está usted esta mañana? Estoy bien, pero yo creo que estoy cansada. Ah, está bien. Usted necesita dormir. Yo sé, yo sé, mija. Estoy terminado. We can start eating breakfast now. All right, let's go get something to eat. So, the trial's today, huh? Sí, papá. Estoy un poco nervioso, pero I think by God's grace you will do just fine. All right, before everyone leaves, I would like to pray. See, sí, Papa. Está bien. Now that everyone is ready, I will pray now. Dear Dios, I thank you for waking us up esta mañana. Mijo y mi mija tienen un día importante. Y necesito tu ayuda y tu inteligencia. Gracias por todo. In your name, we pray. Amen. Adios, mi familia. Remember, God is with you at all times. Don't forget that. Está bien, Papa. Gracias. Adios, mi familia. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hasta luego. Gracias, mamá. Adiós, mamá y papá. All right, everyone. We're here. Ah, oh, este sol es muy molesto hoy. Enrique, what's wrong? Did you not put enough sunscreen? Um, Aunt Zari? Me and Uncle Enrique have albinism. Of course the sun is not our best friend. And I think the sunscreen you gave us was expired because it's drying up quickly on my skin. And not just that, my eyes are very sensitive to the sun. We should probably get inside. Okay, okay, let's get you both inside right now.
Meanwhile. Miss Clarkson? Miss Clarkson, are you ready? I don't know. Am I? Look, I don't have time for this. Come on. Let's go. You got a child to prepare for. Uh, Iris, I think you can take those off now. You look a little bit sweaty. Ah, thank goodness. And I can take off this ridiculous hat too. I was sweating under that thing. Ah, yes. You must be Miss Boulevardes. It's good to have you here. Oh, you must be Miss Hallwood. Miss Hallwood herself. Thank you so, so much for being our lawyer. I don't know what we'd do without you. Of course, Miss Boulevardes. It is my pleasure. Now, if you excuse me, Miss Boulevardes, I have a child to prepare for. Silence. Court is now in session. <clears throat> now, it has been brought to my attention that your house, Mr. and Mrs. Boulevardes, was vandalized by the defendant along with her significant other and his friends, correct? Yes, Your Honor. All that is factual information. You are correct. And this incident happened on January 1st, 2024, around 14.30 in the afternoon. Yes, Your Honor, that is correct. Where were you during this matter? During this matter, we were at the Snow Peaks Ice Skating Rink. We were there for approximately two hours. Do you have evidence of this incident? Yes, Your Honor. Could I see them, please? I ain't do nothing. You ain't even a judge. You just some mean green dinosaur, please. Is there something you want to say, Miss Clarkson? Because if you have something to say, say it to my face. Nah, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Now I wish I wasn't your lawyer. That's what I thought. These were your own pictures, correct? Yes, Your Honor, those were my own pictures. Could I have the evidence pictures that were taken by the investigators? Thank you. Those investigators aren't real people. They're just rich wannabes that find every little thing as evidence. Veronica, can you not shut up for two seconds? Excuse me? I will not tolerate any type of disrespect in my courtroom. I don't know about the other courtrooms you've been in, Miss Clarkson, but I will not accept your behavior. <sighs> Lord knows that if you raise my blood sugar levels, God, thank you I didn't die today. Now, this is the evidence that we have discovered. It's obvious that this was aggravated vandalism. Why? Because is this an everyday that you would see someone comes onto someone's property in broad daylight to destroy someone's house? I ain't do jack. This was not my- I do not give a who. That you didn't do this. You may not have been the, the perpetrator, but- you were the one involved in the crime by conspiracy. You're acting like you didn't do nothing wrong, yet you did. There's no question in my mind that you are guilty of carrying out this heinous act because you hired McFarren and his associates to destroy the defendant's house. Now, give me a history of the plaintiff's behavior before this particular incident happened. Well, she did display- Shut up, Zari. You ain't a saint neither, so stop acting like- Silence, Miss Clarkson, or so help me. Dr. Wilma? A little high, but still healthy. Getting my blood sugar high over foolishness? Please continue. Well, on December 25th, 2023, we had an argument during a Christmas dinner, and the argument escalated to the point where she threw a turkey at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, she threw a what now? Well, Your Honor, due to an argument that escalated, unfortunately, a turkey was thrown at my face. Wow, all right. Has she assaulted you in the past? No, Your Honor, not necessarily. However, she has displayed some behavior that looked like she wanted to start a physical altercation. All right, well, that's one way to explain it. Every crime has a backstory. Every crime has a backstory. Who cares? I don't do nothing. Get that through your thick skull, witch. Silence, Miss Clarkson, or you will be escorted out the courtroom. Interesting. Was it the whole thing? If you are referring to the turkey incident, then yes. Huh. Any other behaviors in the past? If I can respectfully interject, Your Honor, she has been arrested for multiple DUIs in the past, driving under the influence. DUIs? Well... Of course, when you're drunk, you're going to act like a hot mess. 
Now, Miss Clarkson, what made you think of committing a crime against your own sister? Wasn't it obvious, Einstein? I wanted revenge. Simple. Because you wanted to what? Are you deaf? Am I speaking Espanol? Because I said I wanted revenge, stupid. I think you heard me clearly. Revenge? Well, in that cause, you are sentenced to second degree criminal damage to property along with a fine. Your significant other, Terry McFarren, will be charged with first degree criminal damage to property. Is that understood? Wait, what? This is unfair. I you don't think it's fair because you never got caught the previous time. This time you did. This trial is now commenced. I'm awarding the Boulevard family $2 million along with legal fees. And in this case, I'm awarding another $2 million for punitive damages. This trial is over. Wait. We won? Yes! Take that, Aunt Veronica! Please, God! Congratulations, Miss Boulevardes. <laughs> it was all God, not me. You're the worst lawyer I've ever had! Well, Miss Clarkson, you were doomed to lose anyway. Sorry. Next time, I'm gonna hire a whole bunch of people to throw turkey straight in your face! Well, this court trial was definitely crazy, but it's not the end of the Boulevardes family. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share this video with others, and subscribe because only 14% of you are actually subscribed. So make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can know when I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, you guys can do all things through Christ that gives you strength. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!